saw we had a strong rally, um, especially in Bitcoin Cash. Went from the low of 74 US dollars to 220, it's now in one or two days. Um, for me, I just don't like that. I hate uh, rallies <laughs> during a bear market, especially when I want to buy lower. Uh, so I have my order around 50 and that didn't get filled. And, um, and so I just hate that. Um, and, um, and, and yeah, my response to that is to probably lower my buy orders uh, because I said uh, that uh, actually if my orders would get filled already now, then actually it's probably would mean that the bottom is not around 50 because the bottom is not expected to be now it's only in half a year to be expected and um, well up until two days ago uh, the volume was not there the volume was not there uh, to call a bottom uh, so that's why I was convinced to not market by around 80 US dollars for Bitcoin cash but instead to keep my order around 50 uh, as the volume set the bottom wasn't there yet um, and also the time uh, uh, the timing isn't uh, there neither isn't right neither to see a bottom already now so um, yeah I, I think that um, uh, and also the enthusiasm is strong uh, with this rally many people suddenly like wow uh, did we see the bottom um, is that it um, uh, and, and, and believe uh, again that uh, yeah, we saw the bottom. Uh, the same as around 6,000 happened many times. Uh, happens again here that people think we saw the bottom. And I did a little poll actually right before the breakout. Um, it was uh, I asked, did we see the bottom? Uh, Bitcoin Cash was still at 80 US dollars, and um, and uh, market cap was still around 105 billion or 110. Now it shot to 140 billion. But so. 70% uh, voted that yes we saw the bottom and 30% voted that no we did not see the bottom um, but it was a uh, thousand people that voted on that uh, and uh, I think that um, yeah that, w that that showed that actually since the majority thinks that we uh, did not see the bottom it will probably go up which it did um, uh, but usually at the end of a cycle it's not 70% that's wrong it's like 90% is wrong huh? so yeah we will have to see uh, but uh, I, I would not be surprised indeed to see the, that this was actually just another dead cat bounce but finally we have a strong one because that's a long time ago that's uh, one year ago or no let's say eight nine months ago that we had a strong rebound um, yeah, since then it's just going to be going down. So we might get finally a strong rebound here again um, to put uh, many people on the wrong leg. Uh, but uh, but I do think odds are still in favor uh, to see uh, the bottom uh, much later and possibly lower um, than what we saw. Because typically the bottom um, is um, the final capitulation with the highest volume and also uh, at least cut in half again. Uh, but usually at least cut in half. Huh? Um, uh, so yeah, uh, looks like I, we saw now a bottom of 105 billion or so. And so yeah, uh, cut in half, that's a bottom of 50, 60 billion. And I think that's possible. Mm, and only in half a year. Yes. So it would uh, be a terrible bear market. And, and, um, and uh, yeah, it has always been a terrible bear market. Uh, and um, yeah, but I could be wrong, uh, and in that case, um, I will have a, a bunch of fiat uh, that was not invested, and then it goes to plan B. And plan B for me is to buy um, smaller coins after the sideways movement. Uh, my favorite coin is, is Byteball, and uh, maybe I'll buy that or I'll buy some new coins, but that would only be in one year time or so. If indeed we don't see a lower low, but instead prices start to go up slowly, then probably in one year time or so, I will be buying um, with my fiat some other smaller coins. And so right now, I'll probably try to buy Bitcoin Cash uh, around, um, yeah. 
25 dollars, huh? half of what I was uh, planning. Um, because yeah, the low uh, was 70, and I think um, even though Bitcoin Cash is showing a lot of strength right now in the rebound, it also showed a lot of weakness in the past uh, <coughs> collapse. Uh, it was the weakest coin of all, uh, the top 10 and maybe even top 20 coins, and that was a very poor performance. So. I think all the reasons why that is uh, are still uh, valid. Um, I think the main reason is that many people that hold Bitcoin Cash never consciously decided to buy it but got it as a fork and don't really believe in it and so dump it much more easily than the coins they really believe in. Um, and of course there are some other reasons. Um, it's a very controversial project. And uh, that usually, uh, yeah, uh, also um, does not uh, give confidence to people to invest in. So uh, it looks like it's one of the most volatile coins. And so if the bear market is not over, then yes, it will also collapse uh, probably considerably deeper and go to crazy valuations. We saw a drop of 97%, well, it could be 99%, that would be $40, or 99.5%, that would be 40, uh, that would be uh, 20 dollars. I think this is all possible, uh, and um, yeah. <laughs> Something I forgot to say is uh, people are asking, oh, are you planning to sell Bitcoin Cash uh, when it goes up uh, and then try to uh, uh, buy the bottom? Uh, I don't do that because uh, my strategy is to uh, only buy uh, and uh, accumulate. Uh, but not try to trade it because then I can make mistakes. So I bought a 250 Bitcoin Cash and uh, I will just uh, keep that stash uh, for many years. And, um, and uh, yeah, that's why I also decided not to buy at $80 because I was thinking, oh, maybe I can buy and then if it goes up, I can sell it again and then buy back a lower. But the problem with that is it keeps you very busy. If I would have done that, then now I'm behind my computer thinking, oh, shall I sell now at 200 or not? Or, and that all takes a lot of time that I don't think is really worth it. Um, and the odds are just much more difficult to estimate. Uh, like uh, these small, smaller moves are much more unpredictable than the big moves. Uh, and so that's why I only play the big moves. What do you think of that, my love? Yes. You think that's a good strategy? Yes, I think that is good. That's good to hear. <laughs> Look at our little baby here. Eh? She's doing so well. She just got vaccinated. And um, uh, yeah, uh, big steps, uh, big steps. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, it all went well. No, not even a small fever, right? Yes. Uh, so four vaccinations. Wow. Eh? So um, bye bye. Bye.